Good morning. Hey, it's Tuesday and it's early and I'm out on the Willoway Docks. Let's take a walk through the dock today. So here we got some great color plants and staple as far as the landscape. We have spilled wine. Nice color there. Gorgeous trees. See a sample here of the green velvet boxwood. Good consistent crop. And hey, check out these PGM elites. These are three gowns, guys. Look at the buds on those. Already starting to sell. Another grouping of those uh, three gallon green velvet so you can kind of see the size, good value there. Sort of trees coming up. We see syringa trees, flamethrower sources. Sources have been hot. We have our seven gallon blue point junipers, my Monet's. Look at these gorgeous arborvitaes. I mean, we have a nice selection of arborvitaes and tater tots. Next up here, we're looking at gray owl juniper in a three gallon. Nice feather, good size to those. And hey, remember, we have gorgeous ground cover. Here we're looking at our ivy, we have packy, we have vinca. Gorgeous plants in flats and gallons. You know, the guys have done split trims this year, and you can see we still have these three gallon bobos that are loaded with buds and blooms. And then coming down here, another nice landscape plant. This is Ilex Strongbox. Yes, closer peek here at those uh, Blue Point Junipers. Again, these are beautiful plants, landscape ready. Great color. We have both two and three gallon mop cypress. Check out the color here. This is Panera Jack Frost. Beautiful foliage on that, fresh crop. Again, with our landscape plant theme, we have New Gen Freedom in a three gallon, big, heavy three gallons. Check out these. Here we have our five gallon, these are green mountains. Here's another great color plant, you know, Spirea, continue to give all season. And here we are looking at Spark. This is a Spirea from first editions. And uh, you can see the great color on that. Still have a few buds, beautiful three gallons. More spirea to look at here. We have double plate doozy from Proven Winners and Bloomin' Easy. This is Petite Pop Rocks. Those gorgeous bobos there. Here we have the popular, this is Wine and Roses. And then spinning back around again, gorgeous new gen boxwood. These just continue to, to look beautiful, consistent. Nice plant here, guys. Three gallon freedom. Viburnum, good value on these three gallon. This is Viburnum Winterthur. I pulled one of those off to show you how nice and big they are. And then here again, New Gen Freedom, but this time they're in a two gallon. Good value on those. Again, that's boxwood blight resistant. So again, I'm early, but you can see gorgeous three gallon grasses. I mean, look at this order. Folks are stocking up getting these big beautiful plants in their yards and gardens and uh, this will give not only now some gorgeous texture and color but also through the winter be sure to check out our grass you guys are busy loading up so we have more of the green velvets and then i pulled one of these off here we have our seven gallon densiformis gorgeous value there we have uh, tater tot another very popular plant and then coming down we have cranberry creek and these are cylinders Kind of an interesting plant if you're doing a hedge. Busy loading up this morning, but again, another peek at those five gallon densies. You can see the consistency through the crop. Nice feather to them. Beautiful. Here we have our lavender. This is phenomenal. Look at those gorgeous plants. And they're getting things loaded up here. Here we're looking at some three gallon zebras, more gorgeous grass. Down there, folks are getting those uh, Jack Frost and Anna's Magic Ball. You can see here more densies getting loaded up. Velvet's always on the dock here. And then we're looking at pugsters. Keep in mind we have Budlia that they split trim, still bud and bloom. This is Pugster Blue. And here we're looking at uh, knockout roses. So all the roses again went through a split trim. So you can see these still have bud and bloom on these things. So we're going to have color on the knockout strips and many of our other roses. Looking at our 25 gallon ginkgos and uh, these inch and three quarter, two inch trees have beautiful heads. I mean, they rival field stock if you need them. We've got those coming down here. Seven gallon Hetz columnaris. Great landscape grade on those. You can see the consistency on the five gallon. These are uh, winter gem boxwood. Beautiful. 
And these are tied up, but I think you can still see the value on those Winterthur viburnums. I've used those uh, in my own garden as a hedge. They get gorgeous fall color. They got some flowers to them. Very hardy. Many of the fragrant, fragrant viburnums, excuse me, they look sensational right now. The guy's got nice thick plants to them for threes. Here we're looking at Little Missy again. Nice, nice uh, boxwood there. Coming over, grasses are hot. They're all over the dock here. And we have Mr. Bowling Ball. Beautiful, consistent crop there. And the ferns are starting to come in. You can see the guys are busy getting things loaded. We have some beautiful plants here, guys. I just pulled one of these off the uh, palette here. This is Petite Pink. Again, all of the roses have been trimmed, cycle trimmed, so you've got bud and bloom. Here we have some Hamlin grass. These three gallons are beauties. they got nice plumage on them. Big, heavy bull plants really see the consistency in that crop with three gallon Mr. Bowling Balls. Pulled one of these out, I'm out of the nursery. We still got some great color on Theriopolis, guys. Here we're looking at uh, Buds and Blooms. These are Dark Knight. Spin up there. We have Sapphire Surf, Petite Blue. Still looking good with color. Don't forget the Theriopolis. It's a great fall color for us. Well, it is fall, but you can't tell from the perennials here. So we're looking at several varieties of Lucanthemum. The Nepeta here looks sensational and a lot of gorgeous uh, Painted Town Dianthus. So if you're looking for a pop of color this fall, be sure to check those perennials out. In the Budlias, and we have several varieties looking uh, great right now. You see in the background, Miss Molly. We have all the first edition two gallons ready to go. Here, I'll give you a little close-up. I mean, this is uh, Miss Violet, and uh, you can see the buds and blooms on these. Continuing to show color. Don't forget your Budlia. So this one's been a hit. Uh, this is Platycodon Sentimental Blue. And uh, kind of zoom in there. You can see the nice, big, heavy plants loaded with buds, guys. These are gorgeous. So again, if you need a pop of color, we got it. Platy coating, sentimental blue. And you can see the perennials are looking fantastic. The pop color there is more dianthus. We're coming in. The Kansas and Becky. I wanted to come here and show you the Fox Subulatas. These are emerald blue. You wouldn't think of that for now, but man, these are gorgeous plants ready to go for now and spring. You know, if you're doing a landscape, you want to get them planted, they're ready. So I'm in a house and we're looking at the Phlox uh, Flame Series. And I just wanted to show you, you know, these were summer canned here. We're shipping some of these out, but um, the, what I wanted you to see is the flower power on these. I mean, holy smokes, these one gallons are really putting out a lot of color. Great series. If you've not tried these, try them out. These are the Phlox Flame Series. So I'm out in the nursery here in the, the blueberry section, you know, and that's been a hot one for spring. Folks enjoying the, the landscape with producing their own fruit. This is berry blue. So this is a new one from Bushel and Berry. You can see the crop, how consistent it is. And the plant mimics the size of a boxwood. So you could do small hedging with this. You can put them in your landscape. The thing with this is you're gonna get the flower in the spring, the fruit, late spring early summer and fantastic fall color and they're easy to maintain so you can either put them in the landscape and enjoy them in the in the garden or you can put them a pot in the patio check this one out this is a new one from bushel and berry berry boo and again look at the consistency of that crop gorgeous plants here hey don't forget hibiscus you know this is a plant that starts to bloom in the summer and continues to bloom through the season and the guys have done a good job with trimming these are loaded with buds and blooms this one is uh, purple pillar which is a hot one from proven winners you can see it's just loaded with buds and blooms and then coming over here again we have several varieties if you're looking for a price point the first editions has several tahiti bali and fiji and you can see those are also loaded with flowers. Great price point on those. So don't forget hibiscus if you want to pop a color. We got it. Well, here's another plant. Uh, don't forget for fall color. 
actually three seasons of color. Itea is another fantastic plant. This one happens to be Little Henry. We carry several varieties, but Itea is unique. You got a tight plant, um, beautiful spring flower, and outstanding fall color. So if you're looking uh, for a plant that gives you all those attributes in a smaller space, check out our Itea selection. I stopped out in the nursery here. You know, I've talked about the drift roses and knockout roses on the dock, and this is one of our rose sections. You can see how they're split trimming. So we always have plants with bud and blooms. This happens to be our two gallon drift reds. The whole series looks fantastic. There's another one that uh, is a landscape favorite. This is a three gallon Syringa Bloomerang Dark Purple. I mean, these are gorgeous three gallons here, guys. As you know, Bloomerang continues to bloom in the late spring through frost. So you can see it's got a second wind and it's starting to throw out a few flowers here. Blooms heavier in the spring, but again, you got color all year long. So I showed you the Jeffers Red. I just wanted to come back and show you these 45 gallon red sunsets. These are picture perfect, two and a half to three inch, exceptional value. So if you're looking to plant some trees right now before the digging starts this fall, these would be a great option. Check them out, 45 gallon red sunset. Here's another plant uh, that may be a little bit shy in the market, but we've got uh, plenty of supplies here. We have uh, sevens, fifteens, and these beautiful 25 gallon red buds. So we're seeing uh, left to right is uh, the yellow be an inch and a half. The middle one is inch and three quarters and a big two inch on the far side. So be sure to check out our red butts. And I'm just gonna span here, 15, seven gallons, several varieties. I would book these early. They're gonna be a hot demand plant. Another hot plant for uh, fall and spring. Everybody loves weeping cherries, right? So here we have our 15 gallon top grafted snow fountain. Look at the heads on these plants, beautiful. So I had to stop here. I know that some of the larger uh, arborvitaes are on demand and uh, the guys just put on fresh numbers on these 84 inch green giants. I mean, look at this gorgeous landscape grade plants. Be sure to jump on them fast because I know these sell quickly. 25 gallon green giant arborvitae. So here's another uh, plant to consider for spring and fall. Here we have our 25 gallon, inch and three quarter, two inch ginkgos. I mean, that's really, again, you've seen these earlier. Field quality plants, good value here. You know, demand's gonna be tight on Crimson King. So we have inch and three quarter, two inch available in our 25 gallon program. Very nice trees here, guys. So if you uh, are searching for some Crimson Kings and inch and three quarter, two inch, We've got them in these gorgeous 25s. Well, that's a quick walk through the dock here. You can see the guys are busy getting things loaded up, putting them on trucks. Be sure to get with our sales team. Jeez, I hope we're loading the truck for you.